and welcome back. So let's take a look at our question of the day. And this morning we're asking you, will you be sending your children or child back to school when schools reopen following the nationwide lockdown? And why? We, of course, heard that address by the Minister of Basic Education, Angie Motsecha, last night, saying that grades 12 and 7 will be the first uh, cohort to go back in a phased approach. So we don't know anything more at this stage about when the rest of the children are expected to return. But on the 1st of June, grades 12 and 7 are to return. So please let us know your views at Morning Live SABC. Uh, if we can, if we do have the time later on, we'll try and squeeze in some calls. 011-714-5861. Uh, that's the number you can dial or 5877. All right, let's move on to our stories of the day now, Leanne. All right, so first up, Higher Education, Science and Innovation Minister Bladen Zimande is expected to hold a media briefing on matters pertaining to the impact of the COVID-19 lockdown in higher education, science and innovation sector. Also on our diary, Parliament's Portfolio Committee on Public Enterprises is expected to get a briefing from Minister Praveen Gordhan on the department's annual performance plan and budget for the 2020-2021 financial year. That promises to be uh, a quite interesting. And according to the latest figures, as you may have heard in the news bulletin released by the Health Ministry, the number of confirmed cases that South Africa has had to date now stands at 17,200. The number of deaths has since gone up by 26 and is now at 312. And there has since been 7,960 recoveries, which brings the active number of cases in South Africa to 8,928. And of course, these numbers handy if you should need any information. You can call the 24-hour hotline on 0800 029 999 or you can get in touch with the official government COVID-19 support service on WhatsApp on 0600 123 456. Let's move to the stats now and break it down for you in the provinces. So, the Western Cape soaring ahead there with infections 10,639, Gauteng 2,361, Eastern Cape 2,135, KwaZulu-Natal 1,616, the Free State is at 168, Limpopo 94, Mpumalanga 78, the Northwest 72, and the Northern Cape at 37. And I know we were reporting in the news that the Northern Cape unfortunately registering its first fatality yesterday. And just taking a look at the overall picture, the number of tests conducted to date in the country, 488,609. The number of positive cases now at 17,200, 7,960 of those are recoveries. The number of deaths, uh, 312 and uh, 8,928 active cases at the moment. Just the global picture that I've got for you here is that uh, at this point in time confirmed coronavirus cases, 4.89 million around the world. That's up 93,000 since yesterday. Uh, the recoveries are at 1.6 million and the deaths have gone up by 4,500. We're now sitting at 323,000 deaths worldwide. Right on to those trending topics now. First up, hashtag Bianca. So, uh, oh. don't worry, we also didn't know who Bianca was. We also had to go and do some digging. Oh. Bianca turns out to be um, a Bianca Scumbi, who's um, entered uh, the Miss South Africa contest for 2020. And she, of course, aspirant like all the other entrants. But, unfortunately, I'm not even sure if Bianca's woken up and have, whether she's seen what Twitter has done to her. So Twitter, overnight, wow. as you can imagine, Leanne, people not sleeping, have gone and dug up tweets that Bianca posted in 2013, 2014. Oh. And um, they, they, they put those up and said, no, 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 Bianca. The things you said, um, you know, uh, Bianca seemed to have been back then very fond of the B word, uh, as in uh, female dog, and also the N word. Um, as in used in uh, the United States. So back then she was she seemed to be very fond of those words and Twitter not taking very kindly to that. Ooh, she was, yeah, she's in big trouble. And as you said, I don't even know if Bianca's opened her eyes yet. So, uh, and we're all speaking about her, but this is just one big fat lesson in life. 
don't put these things online. If this is what's going on in your warped mind and you want to think these thoughts, go for it, think them, but don't write them down. Um, you just, you know what, you're just exposing yourself for what you really are. Rather keep it to yourself, it's much easier that way. And uh, at the end of the day, this is going to have major repercussions on her future, on where she's going. And this is one thing I must say, I always try and warn uh, the youth and those that have been given these these things that you put in their yeah. hands, that you know, you, you write things down that'll stay with you for the rest of your life. And you do get people that are going to go back to 2013 and before to realize and read those things that were on your mind and they will stay with you forever. So this is unfortunately a bad example. So when Bianca wakes up, her life is not gonna be the same. No. Unfortunately, as you say, Leanne, the internet does not forget. No. Once it's there, it's there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, anyway. All right. So that's Bianca. Uh, Miss SA obviously trending as well because of this. And she was one of the, uh, the I, th I think, a hopeful. She was an entrant. I'm not sure what the story was, but we, we know who she is. So not a good one. Schools reopening. We had that uh, long awaited press briefing yesterday by our minister, Angie Motsecha. And she, of course, has now said that schools will be opening on the 1st of June, starting with grade seven and grade 12. And then announcements will be made when the other grades will be going back. But, you know, just talking to all the plans that they have in place to ensure that um, schools are, you know, ready for the pupils and also saying uh, that, you know, she's seeing uh, kids in townships on the streets from nine o'clock playing all day and that, that they don't have order in their lives. And by taking them back to school, this will at least give them order and you know, ensure that they are learning something. But this is a, a debate that a lot of people are having in their heads, including myself as a parent with kids at school, as to whether or not we send our children back to school in this environment. We know life has to carry on, but uh, to the risk of who? And this is a big issue we need to deal with. But yeah, so there we go. We now know the facts. We now have to follow through, and I'm not sure how South Africa is feeling, but I think we'll get a sense through the tweets this morning. Indeed we will. And of course, not a word of a lie there by the minister. Uh, we see these pictures every day. People yeah. talk about it in terms of, in some areas, in townships especially, children just uh, going about playing as per normal. Uh, so that having been said, one has to wonder though, when she talks about, for example, parents declaring underlying conditions, what would be the plan to deal with such? And it's not just for children, it's educators as well. How will they deal with that? So yeah. I guess, Leanne, still many questions that need to be answered. Mm. We'll endeavor to um, answer some of those with some of the guests coming through this morning. Yeah. But yeah, that's what people are talking about. Hashtag schools reopening. And then finally, hashtag day 55 lockdown of the lockdown. And this is where we are, of course, as a nation. Yeah. And you know, one of the, the interesting things to come out yesterday, not interesting, but rather scary, in fact, was a presentation by a group of scientists advising government on projections and modeling. Uh, was uh, They had a, a virtual meeting with Health Minister uh, Zreli Mkhiza yesterday. And this was the line that got to me, that basically they were saying that with the projections that they currently have with the situation in South Africa, they're showing that there would be at least 40,000 deaths in South Africa by November, with 475 expected by the end of May, and the infection rate will be no less than a million by the end of November. So those are some really sobering figures that have been given to us, and uh, whether they're true or not, and whether we can expect that to happen is a very scary situation, but we're heading into that peak, and they, they're not holding back when it comes to the projection. So that's yeah, what absolutely, and of course, we don't know when that peak is going to be exactly, yeah. you know, a few months uh, laid out, but all of this remains to be seen, and we are learning as we go along. But um, those are our trending topics for this morning. Uh, let's take a quick break before we bring you news headlines.